Hey guys, how's it going? Just want to make this a uh, video here on the phase one on the SS over here. Um, a little history on this SS before we get into it. This is a replacement SS. Excuse the noise in the background. This would be the uh, replacement SS for me. Um, I had a 35 year anniversary edition 2002 uh, Z28 and it was such a dear friend of mine for the past nine years recently stolen um, February 2011 and it was such a great vehicle um, you know the car is basically it in itself it's you're not gonna re see this car in Motor Trend or any car craft magazine you can not hook up your iPod to it. it doesn't have heated seats or anything like that pure and simple this type of car 98 to 2002 F body is a driver car it's a versatile car whatever you want to do you want to go drag racing you can go drag racing me personally I want to go road racing autocrossing and it's such a great setup the suspension is double A, uh, a arms in the front uh, uh, torque arm in the rear uh, lower control arms pan arm bar all this comes from from GM, which is absolutely fantastic. A lot of people pay tremendous amount of money to get these type of components in their vehicle. Um, now, again, this is a replacement car for me. Um, my car was stolen February 2011. Um, it was a 2000, uh, excuse me, 2002 Z28. Uh, 35 year anniversary edition um, had a rebuilt transmission uh, it was a 4 speed automatic I got a lot of uh, jokes over 9 years to that so I heard it all um, but it had 350 rear wheel horsepower with just headers and bolt ons so that's about 420 brake horsepower now this is my replacement vehicle it's like my wife died and I'm dating her t hot twin sister. Sounds kind of sick, but that's how it is now. This is my 2000, two model years lower, SS. And it has a board out LS1, uh, 383, six speed. Uh, 250, excuse me, 240cc heads, huge heads. A uh, huge cam, uh, suspension to match with it. Um, it has BMR lower adjustable lower control arms. Uh, I just recently put in a UMI uh, torque arm with a lo relocation kit because the stock one broke and I had to rebuild uh, the 12 bolt, which also came with it, which that sucked for me. But uh, generally, factory parts do not hold up. They're not meant to hold up. Uh, uh, generally, you know, especially that torque arm, it was just weak. Um, not to get too technical anyways, but, um, as a 383 torque arm, let me go ahead and start this up. <sighs> Got the now this shifter is definitely going to go. Um, it's a great shifter, I, I usually love seeing this type of shifter on an old school car but this is a new school car a lot of plastic fiberglass that kind of thing you really gotta be careful with putting stuff like this in it just really looks you know tacky it doesn't it takes the car feel out of it you really gotta be careful anyways let's go ahead and start this uh, it has a ceramic clutch stock transmission ceramic uh, clutch Now it is cold. As you can see, it has a 230, 237 cam, and look at that idle. Very smooth. Uh, ignore, please ignore that low oil light. That light just came on because uh, I had to do a lime in, and it came on this little wire or something loose. Um, very smooth. Look at that idle. I'm not gonna rev it when the car is cold. I never do that. Um, I'm going to let the car warm up a little bit before I start revving it up. Let's go ahead and pop this hood here and show you the beauty that is the 383. 
It's a stock board 383 with 4 to 240 uh, cc heads, as I mentioned earlier. Another thing uh, in the previous stages coming up, these rims are gotta go. I'm sorry. They're the stock SS's. Uh, and they came with drag radios. Absolutely horrible for you know road racing, auto crossing, that kind of thing. And they just look ugly. I'm gonna get nice some nice forge rims. And another stage, part of the stages I've come face, I'm gonna put a 427 LS7 in there. Now this thing by itself is just amazing. It produces 450 rear wheel horsepower and 460 foot pounds of torque. Now that is incredible number. Now if I would swap the intake there, that's the stock LS6 intake with the throttle body and MAF. If I would have got a bigger, let's say 102 millimeter with the matching throttle body, this engine can easily pump out 500 rear wheel horsepower with the good tune. No problem. Very clean interior. Very nice SS. Um, I must say, I do miss my Z28. Only got 36K on there. Look at that. For 2000. And for all you guys drooling to look underneath, let's go ahead look underneath the car here. Show you all the goodies I was talk telling you about. So they will never steal my car again. That was a little loud down here. But there's the car car. Now, this is phase one of the vehicle. Phase two would be to rebuild the transmission to take that 427 I was telling you about. I want to put in the LS7, the one that's in the ZF6 Corvette. Uh, put that LS7 in there, ported heads and cams, make 700 naturally aspirated horsepower. Um, remove the current suspension that's in there. This is great, great suspension compared to the factory pieces. It's the BMR, uh, polyurethane, uh, ended, uh, you know, lower control arms, uh, panhard bar. They're, they're great compared to stock, but I want to push this car to its limits and get supercar type numbers on the track. So that would involve a roto jointed uh, type suspension and a watt slink. So that suspension upgrades is within the next phase. 427 in the front and uh, you know suspension upgrades. Definitely forged rims, wider rims. Let's go ahead and rev this up. I know you guys want to hear it. And excuse the uh, video quality. It's my iPhone here. That's another phase. Get a nicer uh, camera there. Now the car does have cutouts. It's not the electric kind. Uh, I got to go underneath the car, remove three uh, wing nuts. Um, it's ridiculously loud. I'm scared to take it off just even in my own driveway. It's that kind of loud. Um, it's a fantastic car. You know what I mean? I do miss my Z28. Um, I plan on the dreams I had in that Z28 was to go autocrossing, road racing, that kind of thing. Um, so I'm planning on live that car's dream through this car. And uh, every year I plan on doing something nice, either go out to the track or buy something nice on the anniversary of the car's death. Um, another thing that kills me, that Camaro SS, that used to say 35 year anniversary edition right there. But it's two model years younger, you know, technically speaking, you know, they're, virtu they're virtually identical underneath the car. Uh, underneath the hood, they're virtually identical. Anyways, that's my video. Uh, my, I'll keep putting on videos while more stuff done to it, like the engine and stuff like that. Uh, take care, guys.